Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. Behind me, I have a 2022 RAV4 Prime. I'll be right back. So first off, I wanted to show you the key. It is a little different. Also, this one has an AC button on it. So that's something you're not gonna find on the uh, regular uh, hybrid because it doesn't have this bigger 18 kilowatt hour battery that gets you 42 miles of range. But it's giving you a good look at the side profile here. Um, and you can see it's got really good looking lines, a silver and a black. You have the black cladding at the bottom black badges you got these uh, really good looking I thought I think this and was uh, when these came out one of the best if not the best looking rim Toyota makes now they're adding these on to some of the other trims just not in this like exact color setup like this here they're um, a little bit different looking but if you were to f physically see probably wouldn't it'd be hard to tell the difference like unless you know what you're literally looking for of course you see the prime uh, but the one thing you do have here is the uh, the door for the charging door on here. So on here you have the, the charging door on there. And there's only one that has their like built-in chargers on these things. So you have a, an upgraded XSE that has a faster charge rate than... Uh, but we have things on here like power lift gate on this one here. I may not be able to do it at running so I could probably squeeze the handle and get done. Um, but this is going to be on almost all the RAV4s except for the basic models. You get this both gas and hybrid and then the, also in this Prime. This is your charger you get. It's inside this bubble wrap here for your home charger. Now if you're like going to garage it all night, there's absolutely no reason to go buy an upgraded charger. They, these are only a 42 mile range. So if you live and work in town like most people do here, You'll be able to drive this work, take it home, charge it up at home, and be full charged by the next day. You may not even want to charge it every day. I uh, also got the uh, flashers going so we can see all the headlights and, and um, stuff like the, uh, the side lights, the marker lights there. It does have blind spot monitors, rear cross traffic alert, the highest level of Toyota safety sense until the 3.0 comes out with some of the new models later on this year. Um, and anyways we got the fans running because i got the ac running but it had been running on the on it on its uh electric i had it on a charger for about an hour and a half you can see the led accent lights the led accent lights down there there's led high beams low beams uh, led uh, turn signals on this one here um the aggressive fascia toyota tnga platform giving this diamond grill um some of the higher levels will get up to five cameras this only has the one camera for backup in it and then you have the roof rack crossbars on this one and it has a standard moonroof sunroof on it um, again you got black mirror caps again this has got the two-tone uh, paint so you got black up on top and on the side and then you got a uh, black badging black cladding down below um, and then there's like these red shock struts in there I, i'm not sure why they did that i think it looks pretty good when you're doing say the uh Prime in that supersonic red gives you that also and um, and you got these uh, strut uh, mounts there so uh, something that's just like breaks up the colors let's take a look on the inside here and um, we have like the Toyota Softex soft touch on your doors we got injective foam molded soft dash we got the bigger nine inch infotainment LED lights inside and out. Nice bolstering with the uh, candy striped uh, cloth inserts on this one here. Let's go ahead and turn off those uh, flashers now. Does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Has dual stage heat seats. We'll go over that when we get inside. Cubby storages, um, things like that. More bottle holders. Plenty of charging for your electronics are on this one here. I do have the uh, Monroney sticker here, so let's take a look at that. Let's grab this real quick, and let's go over the uh, what the vehicle costs and what it has in it. Okay, so this is the uh, 2.5 liter gas engine combined with electric motors with the uh, 
um, 3.3 watt, watt kilowatt onboard charger. Now, like that bigger one I was talking about, it's like a, like a six point something kilowatt, 6.6, .6, I believe. Um, and then this does have add-ons. So you see, you got 43,625 as your base. Then it's got the weather and heated tr leather trim package on here. Uh, heated rear seats, uh, rear outboard seats. So the outer seats, um, and then. Uh, um, on weather floor liners, blackout overlays, paint protection film, which is the clear bra, roof rack crossbars, uh, rear bumper applique, and mud guards are all part of this. With uh, after destination, it is a price of forty-seven thousand one twenty-seven. Uh, it's rated on the right uh, thing there. If you could do the do it the uh, correct way, you could get up to ninety-four miles per gallon MPGE. Uh, which it means it's your combination between your electric and your gas. I've seen uh, one of the YouTube reviewers get about 89 miles per gallon on a 100 mile loop they did. So if it goes into a gas only mode, you're getting about 38 miles per gallon. Um, so definitely a good savings on gas. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, back seat area here. Again, this has got the, uh, the rear outboard seats here that has the heated seats. We have USB-C's down there. It gives you vents, but no uh, um, air controls for this car here. Uh, armrest with cup, uh, cup holders in here. Uh, let's move around to the other side so I can show you how I fit at six foot two in the back seat, uh, which would be behind me where I had that seat for me prior to uh, getting out of the car. We have plenty of room there. I still got a couple inches. And boy, these vents actually blow really good. So there's a lot of flow of air in this one. I'm actually haven't felt that much flow before. So these vents do extremely good. Uh, Moonroof and sunroof. Again, like what I really like in here is we have LED lighting throughout. I wish Toyota would do that with some of their other models. Like I mean, it's like such a small upgrade, but it's, I think it makes a world of difference as far as uh, how nice it looks inside. It looks more premium and also just gives it better lighting. Uh, let's take a look at our inside of our driver's door again we got stitching in here red stitching to tie everything in give it a, a nicer premium feel with the uh, candy striping we have a uh, eight-way adjustable seat with power lumbar for the drivers here we have a nice leather uh, wrapped steering wheel with the stitching again um, also down below we have our extras on here, we have our auto dimming high beam, our heated windshield wipers, heated steering wheel and power lift gate button. So there's multiple ways to open up this uh, gate through the fob, uh, through that button, uh, through uh, on the dash and, and also the squeeze in the handle is all the ways you can do that. Let's go ahead and move on to the inside. So everything on this steering wheel that's controlled up here is at a fingertips touch giving you a variety of different information. This is our eco screen. Um, it's our electrical uh, charge ratios. And there's like stuff like distance to EV uh, miles and EV range. So we only got 0.9 range. I've been running the AC this entire time as I only charged for like an hour and a half. Um, and it'll probably take about, I don't know, eight, eight to 12 hours or something. I have to look at that. Um, it has all our lane trace assistance, our lane departure with steer assist assistance, our adaptive cruise control screen is on here. So you got three bars for three seconds, two bars goes for two and a half or two seconds. Um, and then you have, let's move on over. We got audio sources on here. Um, trip information, we get, you got your hybrid systems in here, your PSIs, your all-wheel drive systems. This is all the same on the, on the same levels of these vehicles. Um, you'll have all this equipped. Toyota doesn't like make you pay more money to get the safety equipment from Toyota Safety Sense out as a standard. Um, so we have, uh, we have our uh, lane departure alert with steer assist, lane trace assistance, pre-collision systems that also, it will stop or brake hard for cars if you're going to rear in the car. Also, sees pedestrians and cyclists and large animals. Blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. Uh, we have our one, this one here reads the uh, speed limits as you go by and stop signs. And then, no message there's ever a problem with this vehicle, It'll tell you what's going on with it. And then, back over to our eco screen again. Um, so, these are all the different features we have here. Uh, and then you have the bigger of the two infotainments. There's a seven inch and a nine inch. This is the nine inch. 
It does do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's not wireless, but for Apple CarPlay, you can get something called a dongle that can make it wireless for you. They're uh, cheap. They're on Amazon. Uh, sports um, also has XM Radio for trial for 90 days. Um, and then down below, we have dual climate controls. It, it has all your different stuff for your air, your speeds, your different modes, uh, inside, outside air. Um, they're all part of this here. Um, and then we have uh, dual stage heated seats here. And then um, down below, you have your primary port for porting in Apple CarPlay, a power port, and a Qi wireless charging pad for your cell phone here. You have drive modes. We have EV modes. We have a normal. Um, if we want to get, go, get zip, we got Eco or Sport, sorry, Sport, then Eco on here. Um, and then it actually changes color too on the button, which is cool. So it goes red if we uh, do it that way, and and then green if we do that, and then and it goes blue for normal. 99% of the time you will drive it normal, and uh, also again we get more of that stitching and leather wrap just to tie everything in. Some of this nickel polish plastic just to give everything a nice premium look, and then we get a couple of USB C's in our center console there. Moving up to the top, like now the. Uh, XSE Prime could have the, its uh, a fifth camera here, which is called a digital review mirror. This is just an auto dimming review mirror with uh, garage door home link memory sets on here. So no uh, digital review mirror. We have LED lights again. Um, we have uh, our moonroof and sunroof, so it lifts up and opens up. I'm not going to demo that. That's pretty self-explanatory. And the SOS button is in every single Toyota built. Um, that button is for emergency services, so if you're in an accident, airbags deploy, they will, will alert the call center, be calling you if you ever in an emergency, you could call them. Also does roadside assistance and stolen vehicle locator for a trial period of three years. Vanity mirrors with lights on it, LED lights, shade extenders. So just a really nice, well put together vehicle here. Again, Mike Hamilton, so I've had this running full electric the entire time I've been making this video. Um, also, this is till the new Corolla hatch, GR Corolla hatch comes out. Toyota's second fastest vehicle, second to the Supra. It's got a zero to 60 in the mid fives. Um, again, the Corolla 300 horsepower hatch comes out and will be faster than this. But uh, again, this is kind of a sneaky peek. The mid fives for a zero to 60 is quite quick. It's going to use the engine and these electric motors in combination and really get you going. So anyways, that's a pretty nice feature to have if you need that power and that speed. Well, thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.